Guys, let me share you something, you know. When I was a kid, I had a dream. I want to become a pastor. You know, both of my parents are devoted Christian, and my dad was even a missionary who spread the word of God to the jungle of Kalimantan, Sumatra, and Papua. His life inspired me so much, and now, every time I'm on top of my wife, I'm thinking of my father, <laughs> the missionary. <laughs> I grew up, I realized that I don't have the model to become one. So I become a comedian instead because I still have a conscience. Yeah? But when I was a kid, there's a pastor that told me that I was I was the most beautiful kid that he ever seen. And honestly, I was touched repeatedly. about it you know comedian and pastor have so much in common first of all you guys are more likely to swipe left when you guys see us on tinder and the second thing we basically both talk shit to earn money and the last thing is although that we like to talk about sex but i think none of us can execute it properly yeah? but at least the pastor have more practice so yeah thank you So guys, let me take you to an enchanted story of a Bible. The story about Adam and Eve. I wonder what would be God's song when he caught Adam eating the forbidden fruits. Adam, Adam, yes papa, eating apple, no papa, telling lies, no papa, get the fuck out, cry, cry, cry. <laughs> And the thing about it, you know, the best story about the Bible is, of course, about Jesus. And I think Jesus and Jon Snow have so much in common. First of all, they both dead and resurrect. Yeah. Duh. Yeah. And both have beautiful hair. Yeah. Yeah. And the last thing is, they both have quite a disappointing ending. Yeah. <laughs> Just like this joke. Well, anyway, you know, as I grew up, I have another dream, the unfulfilled one, as you can see. Yes, I want to become a rock star, because those days I was really smells like teen spirit, and nothing else matter but rock music. So I told my mom about this, but my mom object, and she said, what do you smoke on the water? My sweet child of mine, don't do that, because you know, rockers die very young, and I replied, Mama, ooh. you know, I know that rockers die very young, but at least they die doing what they love, drugs. <laughs> yes, and to think about it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, come on! Come on. <laughs> guys, I think music is such a powerful tool, yeah? I think yeah. music could really take you to another dimension. Especially when you listen to the music while taking an LSD. But for me, you know, to learn music is not easy, you know. Especially when I was a kid, my mom said that you cannot listen to jazz because it's too much sex in it. Saxophone, eh? But I think the jazz music is a little bit of a lost art, yeah? I think we should make jazz great again. Yeah. Say the drum. Pet supporter, yeah? trumpet supporter. <laughs> so finally, my mom gave in, you know, like, uh, and she told me if I want to learn music, I have to learn from the best genre, the classical. So, uh, which I agree. And let's take a look at one piece of music, one masterpiece by Beethoven in Symphony Number no. Nine. The music contains more than 15 instruments, and it takes a whole two years to make the song. And let us compare the song to today's current hit by one crazy lady named Cardi B. <laughs> the music is listened to more than 800 million times, a song called WAP, which is stand for a wet ass pussy. And no, she's not talking about any sort of animal, yeah? And, and if Symphony Number no. 9 take a whole two years to make the song, 
I believe what Cardi B needs to make the WAP is one hot and steamy night with a non-Chinese guy. <laughs> because let's face it, you know, Chinese are not the most sensual person in the world. Unless if you are into micro penises. <laughs> so... <laughs> okay, let's, let's now compare the lyric of the song, yeah? Well, symphony number nine, the lyric of the song. Joyful, joyful, Lord, we adore thee. God of glory, God of hope. What a beautiful song. And WAP, bring a bucket and a mug for this wet ass pussy. Give me everything you got for this wet ass pussy. Put your face right in this bed. Put, swipe your nose like a credit card. This pussy is so white, so come and take a drive. Uh. What a charming song, eh? <laughs> so let's compare again the process of making the song. I believe for symphony number no. nine, Beethoven was somewhere in the Europe, you know, seeing all the beautiful scenery <laughs> by the lake and the mountain, and he goes, Oh, the view is so great. This is very nice. <laughs> because he's deaf, <dead>, huh? <laughs> Thank you. And let us compare to the process making of the Cardi B song. I believe after one hot and steamy night with a non-Chinese guy, it goes like this. Oh, oh, 